Ladies and gents, we're back in Scum City. This is episode four. Today, we are going to be expanding the city. We're gonna be getting it nice and big. We have 16,000 people living here so far, but I want more people. My lust for power knows absolutely no bounds. I wanna rule over millions of people. We've got some pretty good notifications up here. We have uh, the conservatives congratulate the governor for his exemplary financial skills. So, that's me. Income equality is pretty bad, and house prices are skyrocketing. The most impoverished citizens are building impo uh, improvised shelters, right? So we do have some negatives. But the conservatives are happy, and I'm playing this game sort of as a totalitarian dictator, so that's not a surprise. My plan is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to build a lot of light density housing, and we're just going to build it basically around this place. Because I can't imagine the land value is really high, like right in the middle of the city, you know? We're gonna build a ton of it. That is the plan. Okay, let's whack some light density in here. Along there, good, good, good. Oh, and here. And we'll stick some, a few high density in there as well, just for, you know, just for a laugh, just for giggles, just, just to have a fun time playing with high density buildings. Cause that's fun, you know? Like laying down some high density buildings, and having quite a hard time doing it, that's fun. There we go, looking splendid, they're popping up, and we're gonna build a lot more. We're just getting started on the building front, let me tell you that right now. We're just getting started. All of this area, I'm now gonna fill in basically with homes. I might stick a couple of commercial buildings in there if we need them. I think we might need a few. But right now, I'm just trying to get people in housing. That's what we need, we need people in homes. People need places to live. In fact, let's put some let's put some public housing in here. Why not? Got a few more public housing going on, and we'll stick some lesser public housing just in here as well. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Getting some houses built. I just don't know if it's light density we need, but it probably is. Stick a few there, stick um, stick one there, there, okay, looking cool. More homes, homes for everybody. I no longer want shacks. People living in shacks doesn't make me feel very good as like their governor, you know? It makes me feel like I'm failing my people when they're just trapped in poverty. I really like the government area now. The government area is looking super cool. We've got all these offices around the government. 83 employees, things are going really well. Things are going great, in fact. I'm gonna add some more... Oh, actually, creating fictitious jobs in the government headquarters. It's useful to decrease the unemployment rate, but expensive, $2 per job. Well, we're not gonna add any of them yet. That seems pointless to me. I wonder when the right time to get an airport is. I mean, I have no clue about that right now. Still need a ton of middle-income housing, man. This whole series has just been basically... me trying to make middle-income housing. Look at this, we got a big new district. We're not messing around with this district, look. Any housing that becomes middle-income housing would be great, because if our, if our house prices are skyrocketing, I don't really know what that means. I just guess that it means that, that, that people under the poverty line can't get homes. Well, if that's the case, surely I should just build more housing, which will then get extortionately expensive uh, that's good. Is that what we want? I don't really know what we want, you know? But there's a constant need for middle-income housing, and there's constantly people coming in. So how quickly are people, like, jumping up a class, you know? Are the lower classes basically being like, okay, hey guys, now we're middle class, because we've been working in the factory, and we're loving it. Like, the factory is great. Thank you, Governor, for the opportunities. I've been having a wonderful time getting to know my my new colleagues. I'm loving Scum City. There are plenty of parks around. There are plenty of churches and mosques and pagodas around. Everything's good. There's cops. The school system's really bad, and also water and electricity is really bad. Mm -hmm. Well, what I suggest is probably add more power to the coal generator. Time to stick on another pump. Okay, that's costing us $1,700 a month. Can you believe that? That is pricey. That is a pricey pump. No kidding. Can I afford that pump? I don't think we've got a choice. I think there's no choice. 
Okay, so we'll build more housing over here. I'm gonna expand this little stretch of place. I don't know what we call it. We don't have names for neighborhoods yet. It would be cool if we could sort of siphon off areas and name them. Because I was, I was, this was gonna be like my luxury neighborhood, but now it's just sort of becoming big and horrible like everything else. That's what I really like about my place. It's really big and really horrible. I don't understand why we've got like minus 200 need for basic manufacturing. Surely, should I be building some of that? It said that we didn't need any of that, so I'm not gonna do it. Right, here we go. A Little bit more retail down, doesn't hurt, does it? A Little bit of retail there. Let's build four along there, and let's build two along there. Maybe build two in there. I'm just popping things in now. It's not really like city planning, it's more just sort of... Oh, and now we suddenly need basic manufacturing. I don't understand the game. That's good, because I kind of wanted to expand my industrial zone anyway. I wanted to make... I want it looking real horrible. Oh yeah, we've got loads of people who live in the industrial zone. We have thousands of people who live in the industrial zone who I'm supposed to be looking after. I'm supposed to be caring for the people of the industrial zone. And I'm not... I'm not prioritizing their needs. I'm prioritizing my needs by saying, hey guys, look, I know you're poor, but here's the thing. I have a lot of factories I need building, okay? And I'm going to build them around you. Even though there's plenty of space, there's plenty of space where I could build industry, but I'm going to build it right around you, right around your school. That's what's best for the nation. It's all about what's best for the nation. What's best for the Sadlands. Also, what's best for your governor. And what's best for your governor is that we keep making that sweet money, money, money. That money, 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 money. Oh, why? Why would you do that for? Oh my god, we can build farms! Guys, we can build farms. I didn't even realize. Why haven't I been doing any farming whatsoever? And what does farming count as? Is that manufacturing? Maybe? Where should we build our farms? Hmm. And maybe like the idea of building a farm like... Farmland too large. Farmland too small. Don't my people want to start farming? Oh, I can build... I can build a little bit, apparently. Look, guys, I just want to build a farm here. That's all I want to do. Oh, look, here we go. Did that build it? I didn't build anything. Oh, hey! We finally built up a, a little farm for ourselves. How lovely! Let's build a little bit more, like, out here as well. If we're going to build farmland, let's make it worth it at least, you know? Ah, oh, it's so cool that we started farming. I'm feeling really good about this. Another farm here. And maybe if I build a little road out from here. Let's just go all the way to the edge of the map. Let's build ourselves another little farm. Oh my god, I love farming. Like this. And try to build another farm here. Yeah, I don't even know if we need farming, to be honest. I'm just doing it because I want to. Well, look at this giant. Nice! I can't believe we've got farms now as well. That's so cool! Quite near the government building as well, so maybe that's not a great sign. I might build a bit more office space behind the government building. Or maybe sort of just... Just a little bit of a barrier between the farmers and us. Because I think farmers can, can be you know, quite touchy. They have a lot of political opinions, farmers. And as governor, I don't really like it when my people have political opinions. It's not my favorite thing. I can't believe this. Right, I'm demolishing you. You're gone. You're out. It's over. Whoever was working in that office, you're gonna need to find more work. A different type of work. Work that's better suited to me as your governor. Look at these shacks. I can't believe these people. They really are. You know. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing, frankly. Should I build a few little homes back here, maybe? Some light density homes, maybe just for the government officials. You know, because they need somewhere to live. And let's just build maybe a couple of light densities on the end here. Did that build anything? No, it did not. Maybe it's too small. What is this? Oh my god, it's like a little marina! Forget the park, guys, we're building a marina. And we're doing that right now. Oh, 
It's so cute. Oh my god, I love it. But it's also a bit annoying that I can't build it exactly where I want it. Nice. Oh, it's because of the shacks on the beach. Guys, got to clear off. I'm going to add some parks in here so that... Or maybe just some walking area, you know, like this. Gorgeous, let me tell you. Absolutely gorgeous. Another shack on the beach. Demolish. Find somewhere else to live. You're not living here. This is not for you. I'm liking this. We've got farms. We've got sailboats. Things are going great right now. The conservatives love me. So according to these charts, this week I have roughly 63 people who could be considered upper class in Scum City. I have a, you know, just about 1,500 people who are middle class. And I have 21,000 lower class people. That's 21,000 lower class people living in the city, and they have nowhere to live. How much public housing do I need to build? Do I just need to build public housing everywhere? I think the lower classes are dropping a bit, but it's not going to last, is it? I know it's not going to last. And now it's rising, like, massively. It's crazy, this thing. Slum dwellers. Oh my god, I have a slum dwellers chart. People who live in the slums. It's really not... Look at this. Look at the discrepancy <laughs> in income equality. This is really bad. Oh my god, and immigration. There are so many, like... You know, not to be funny, but there are so many, like, foreigners here. Do I need to get in control of the border? Ah, who even are my people? Should I be protecting our heritage? I don't think I need to protect our heritage from people, because Scum City is built on immigrants, okay? In fact, no, leave the border open. Let them in. Even though I think we're letting in kind of, you know, not the right type of immigrants. Do you know what I mean? Not being funny, but we're sort of letting in... How do I control my border? Border control. So we're getting 92% lower income people. We're getting 1% higher. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring in some more people from developed countries. From the less developed countries, we need to bring it down. Okay? We need to start attracting a higher class of immigrant. I feel funny saying that. But at the same time, I just want to see Scum City thrive. And I'm just doing the best economic policies that I can. And look, that's not always going to be good for everybody. It's not always going to be good for everybody, but I'm looking after my people. Okay? Scum City first. That's our policy. Look at the little sailboats down here. It's so cute. I should probably check their passport, though, see where they're from. Maybe they're trying to flee Scum City, actually. I need, I need like, guns. Is there a way of getting guns in this game? I need an army. Public market. Maybe we should build a public market. We don't even have one. Public market. Nice. I'm hoping the public market will appease people on my very strict immigration policies. They'll be like, yeah, our governor, you know, he's a massive, uh... Well, you know what he is. But, um, at the very least, he built us a public market. What more can we ask for, really? Can we mask ask for a more equal society? Yes, we could. Could we ask to just view other people as people? You know, yes, we could. But I'm your governor. I have to look at everybody as numbers. What value are they going to have to Scum City? And apparently, apparently we've got a lot of people who need public housing. We're going to build some light density public housing around the school. Okay. I mean, I've built so much public housing. It said we needed these and now we don't need them. I don't get it. Right, well, this place is going to be public housing then. It's just how it's going to be. More public housing. Two, three, four. Yeah, they're rising up. They're definitely needed. It says we need so many middle-income housing, but according to me, I've only got 68 people who are, could be counted as middle-class in this city. So, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe I should just leave things as they are. We're nearly going to make a million. We're, on, we're over half a mil in cash. Should I be doing stuff? Should I be looking after people more? Let's see about legislation. What can we do here? Healthcare insurance, unemployment, entrepreneurship, pensions. Hmm. Perhaps we should look at healthcare insurance, because our healthcare is pretty bad. Optional and private funded only, compulsory private funded plan, compulsory public private funded plan, universal public plan. I see. So, this one would get approval from the right and it would piss off the left. This one would piss everybody off. 
This one would make the left incredibly happy. Optional and private funded only? But maybe that's better for us. That costs nothing. This also costs nothing, though. Let's enact, enact this. Compulsory private funded plan. People need... They need healthcare, and they got to get on board with it. Unemployment. Let's see what we can do. No unemployment benefits. Three months. We'll do... We'll be good on unemployment. How about that? To keep up with a growing national population, the seat of government has been enlarged to accommodate additional lawmakers. New policies can be enacted. Ah, look at all this. We've got plenty of things that we can now enact laws on. Private schools. Our education is really bad, so maybe let's think about... I have to regulate whether or not I'm allowing private high schools and universities. I'm going to say no private at all. Or allow private universities only. It's so hard to decide, you know. Private schools are banned. I might go private schools are banned just because we have such a lot of lower classes that we need people in the schools, you know. So let's go for this. Department of Commerce. I can build the Department of Commerce now, can I? Okay, let's just think. Alcohol and tobacco. 25% tax. 100% tax. Available in state-owned stores only. 50 right-wing citizens have gathered in the streets to protest. They expect lower inflation rates. A few protesters are violent. What? What the living hell? Where are they? Where the hell are they? Oh, looky here. Whoa. Okay, so I can intervene. Oh no, do not intervene. That's plus one civil rights, minus five security. The protest will end by itself. One civil rights... Pro Whoa! Maybe I should send the police in. I'm not... Send in the army? That's crazy. Send in the army. Stop this shit right now. Stop this shit right now. We're not having it. That's right. That's what we did. That is what we did. I don't care. People think that they want lower inflation rates. I don't even know what an inflation rate is. You're asking the wrong man. And I know I'm your governor. But... Oh, we can build a library now! I'm actually going to unlock a Department of Commerce. This unlocks economy policies. $12,500. We're gonna do it! Of course we're going to be building it in the government sector. Demolish these, and let's put in you, my lovely thing. Things are looking even better now. So now let's go back to legislation. And now we can do economic policies. Nice. So we got tariffs, finance, starting a business, innovation, copyrights and patents, retail regulation, Clean Air Act. Let's check a look at these tariffs. Tariffs on imported goods is pretty low at the minute. The thing is, we're making good money, so I really shouldn't mess around with economic policies at the minute. Restrictions on research and development. Government approval is required. Subsidize research. Let's do government approval as required. Enact. Okay, retail regulation. This is pretty good because we've got a lot of retail. So, no regulation. Informal vendors are tolerated. Prosecute informal and unlicensed vendors. Monthly inspection. Limited opening hours. We'll continue to prosecute informal and unlicensed vendors. I think that's probably best. Forget the Clean Air Act. We're not doing anything with that right now. We're building industry here. We're building factories. I'm not going to start looking after the air, am I? Regulation of banks, trusts, and financial products. Control all financial transactions, ban private banks, control risky financial firms and products. No specific regulation. Do it. No specific regulation. We make money in Scum City. And for that, we need the bankers to do what they do. Be extremely greedy. Be extremely corrupt. Make us money. Make us money by whatever, whatever form you can. Vehicle tax. I think I might actually add some vehicle tax... Just because we have a lot of vehicles, right? Let's tax vehicles. That might actually stop people from driving too much on the road. We're going to start upgrading some of the streets in the city, because it's all been dirt tracks. And, um, it's probably time. A new protest is happening. 52 right-wing citizens have gathered in the street to protest. They want less instability. The demonstration is destructive. Pardon? Overseeing container. I don't know where they are, but overseeing container. We're building them a new road! What more do they want? They want more stability. I'm building you a new road. A road is literally like the most stable thing you can have. I'm going to build the main the main road up to the government building. The government building should be the area which is most looked after at all times. So we're just going to upgrade this whole area. Make sure that we are driving on some lovely tarmac. We need tarmac. Holy hell, what did they destroy? Bastards. I should have sent the army. Are they destroying stuff? I don't know what they're destroying, but goddamn. 
Whoa, stability is really bad. Stability is a 14. Surely we can make people happy, right? Something happened to my stability, and I'm not sure what. Lower classes just rising each year. The middle classes are still rising. Upper classes rising slowly. Slum dwellers are on the rise again. For the last 12 years, we've had not much growth. I mean, income equality has been pretty much the same for 25 years. These people need to relax. I don't know what they're so upset about. This is the status quo. This is how things are. What, you're still angry about it 24 years on? Civil rights, mm, not great. Education. Education is so bad. Why can't I educate my people? How many schools do they need? I guess quite a lot. I don't know how many children I have. Security is... Oh, health, that's gone down. Just probably need another hospital. Religiousness has gone on the rise. That's weird. Birth rate is rubbish. 40% approval rating. The left wing like me more than the right wing do. A little bit more left wing than right wing. Tax rates, 1%. People hate my tax rates. Okay, so let's bring the taxes down. Let's bring the taxes down. If that's what people want, if people need the taxes down, bring it down. Because stability is bad. Not enough stability points to print money. You don't need to print money. I'm not asking you to. Middle classes, let's bring the tax rate down to 15%. And we'll raise basic manufacturing to 17%. All of this is making people unhappy for some reason. I'm literally lowering the tax rate. Why are you annoyed about that? I have zero stability. Have I lost the game? Is the game lost now? Can I do anything? Do I need to buy a school? Oh my god, I was going to finish playing the game, but then it... But then we start to hit a crisis somehow. I'm not even sure what the crisis is. I'm not sure what the crisis is, but we've hit it. I have very bad vibes going on right now. I'm going to build a library. I'm just going to start splashing cash around. There's a library. You want another hospital? Fine. You got one. Guys, you don't even need to ask. Hospital. You guys want another high school? Done. Done. It's here. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave your high school sort of... Um, where do people live? Where the hell do people live? I have a city of car parks. They, these guys have a high school. There's a high school up here. Maybe another one sort of around here, perhaps. How about you guys? You want a high school? High school for you. Water use is just terrible. Okay, let's get some more water towers. Water tower here. Water tower here. Let's put a water tower somewhere in here, maybe. Another one there. Okay. Guys, stability should be better now. I've really done quite a lot for you. I'm really doing my best, okay? And I think you guys are acting like it's really not, like, enough for you, but... But I'm trying. I'm really trying. So, we're not exactly sure how things are going in Scum City. There are problems. But it's like any big urban settlement. There's always going to be problems underneath the surface. Problems that are going to take time to work out. We need to figure out our legislation. We need to figure out our economic strategy. Okay? We need to pull people from the lower classes up to the middle classes. Okay? We have to get a more, you know, friendly immigration policy. We need to increase security. Things sound pretty bad. Things are pretty stressful right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Things are stressful, but... Episode 5, we will handle it. Make sure to do that subscribe thing, because that's always fun. And uh, until next time!